Are you serious? Are you serious? They're getting faster and faster. The crafts are getting outrageous. And now NASA has just revealed their new hypersonic high-tech military craft. This machine will travel 430,000 miles an hour. What? Uh, it can go to from London to New York City in 28 seconds. Now, hang on a minute. This is mind-boggling technology, but let me tell you what's going on. Um, this will this is insane, really. But uh, just a day after Google Earth has snapped uh, a 4,600 mile per hour hypersonic warplane, NASA has gone one better. The Parker Solar Probe extraordinary speed is almost too big to comprehend. London to New York in 28 seconds. London to Sydney, Australia. In one minute and 18 seconds. Look at it this way. It would only take 30 minutes to go from the earth to the moon. Uh, which it took 61 hours and 56 minutes for Neil Armstrong to go from the earth to the moon. And, it would, and this machine could reach the sun in 90 days. And that's 90 million miles. Um, Incredible speeds. It's expected to operate for seven years, orbiting the hottest star in the solar system. The scorching 1,377 degrees Celsius heat that would be too much for any other object will be nothing for the Parker Probe's four and a half inch carbon composite heat shield. In fact, while the sun-facing side blisters in the heat, the electronics inside will be stable to operate at room temperature. The probe, about the size of a little mini car, is uh, hoped uh, to analyze in detail the dangers uh, of the solar wind, which can cause havoc for all technologies. In fact, matter of fact, in an extreme circumstances, these winds can flip planetary magnetic systems, meaning Earth would have no protection from the searing heat of the sun. And that's what CMEs do. That's what, uh, you know, you can, it can blow the power grids and fry the electronic components of, of, uh, of computer systems, uh, fry satellites that are orbiting the Earth. Uh, in order to unlock the mysteries of the corona, uh, f uh, but also to protect the society that is increasingly dependent on technology from the threats of space weather, uh, Parker's solar probe will literally touch the sun almost, okay? Uh, so this is a brand new uh, probe, a craft, a spacecraft with the capabilities of insane capabilities, really, mind-boggling to go at these insanity speeds of 4,000, excuse me, 430,000 miles per hour. This is where we're at. We're climbing into the heavens. We're expanding into outer space. We're exploring uh, galaxies beyond ours, solar systems beyond ours. We are doing what the Bible said we would do. We have surpassed Nimrod and the Nimrod technologies. We are advancing in AI technologies beyond our comprehension. This is a brand new situation, but this is also signs of the end times. As we advance, we get ever so closer to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Next week, I'm going to have some unbelievable guests. Next Tuesday night, Steve Quayle is going to be our guest, talking about the advancement of AI technology. That's next Tuesday night. You don't want to miss it on January the 16th in my 10 p.m. primetime live show. 
Then on Wednesday night, January 17th, it is L.A. Marzulli talking about the advancements of the uh, Nephilim, the DNA enhancements and advancements uh, that is certainly bringing us back to the days before the flood, when, the, when we had the giants before and after the flood. But here we are again in another world. Today, our guest will be Brad uh, Dacus. He is an attorney from California, Brad Dacus, and he's the Jay Seckle of California. He's my guest today. Show starts at 12 noon Eastern. You don't want to miss it. It should be a powerful program. I'll see you guys then. 12 noon Eastern today. God bless. We need our freedoms in this country. We better stand up to protect them. God bless.